interesting to see them all gather together because you get a sense of what the Democratic Party cares about, what its priorities are. And this season, the candidates will be trying hard to become the most extreme on the question of immigration. Which one can attack the idea of borders most aggressively? Keep in mind, it was only a few months ago that as a group they were telling you there was no crisis at all on the border. In fact, they were saying it was manufactured by the Trump administration. Remember? Watch this. Folks, the president has manufactured one heck of a political crisis for himself. Donald Trump is manufacturing a national security crisis. You will hear them message. say is that this is a manufactured crisis. It's not a national security crisis. From Nancy Pelosi down to Debbie Wasserman Schultz or anybody else who will give him a dime for this project. Because so there's it's nothing manufactured. Different. It's a manufactured crisis for the president to get a political win. We have a president who will go on TV tonight and lie and lie and lie some more. This is a manufactured crisis. Chills and liars and dumb people. Joe Lockhart coming out of retirement to lie to you. It's a manufactured crisis. That wasn't true then. It's definitely not true now. 100,000 people estimated to be streaming into this country illegally every month, many from as far away as Africa. The crisis is not manufactured. It's demonstrably real. Even Democrats recognize that now. But now they're saying it's not their fault, of course. They're blaming the president. This week, a man and his daughter drowned trying to cross the Rio Grande River, which creates our southern border. Beto O'Rourke, participating in tonight's debate, tweeted this, quote, the president is responsible for these deaths. This is the man who said we should have no border barrier whatsoever. The press instantly adopted Beto's view as their own. Watch them repeat his, his sentiments. His administration's mix of cruelty and incompetence continues day by day to exacerbate a humanitarian crisis at the border. Resulting in the suffering of children and infants as the president and his administration concoct a toxic brew of political opportunism and operational incompetence. Children who live there today and tonight should not have to shoulder the political dysfunction and the administration's policies that have, uh, that have created the situation. What she just saw isn't shading the truth, it's not bending the truth, it's lying right to your face and daring you to disagree. It's the definition of propaganda. Thousands of people cross our border every single day illegally. Why? Because word has gotten out that our immigration laws will not be enforced. It's not the president who decided not to enforce them. He was elected to enforce them. No, it's the Democratic Party, which has staked its entire political future on the dysfunction you're watching right now, on importing a new class of voters to replace the American middle class, which it no longer serves or cares about. It's Democrats who erected sanctuary cities. It's Democrats who halted deportations. It's Democrats who are telling you, even today, we have to shut down ICE. Not everything about the Democratic Party is bad. Not everything they say is a lie. But when they tell you that it's Trump's fault, that the border's out of control, that is a lie. It is 100% their fault. They created the status quo that is causing deaths suffered by migrants. But don't take it from us. Five years ago, President Obama admitted that dysfunctional borders lead to suffering. Watch this. 